Hello dear friends, uh, uh, I'm trying um, right now to uh, gather all my thoughts together and uh, share with you our story, the story of uh, me and my kid and my mom. Um, so um, as you know, uh, I'm, I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher of English. Uh, I've been teaching for 11 years and I had a very good job in Kharkiv. Uh, I'm an associate professor and uh, I lectured uh, in the union. I had uh, very many students and a uh, very good job and uh, a big flat and a piece of land. Uh, we were planning with my husband to uh, build a big house for, for us, for Olya, for her kids. And uh, so actually we had a very good life. Um, up to 24th of February, when my husband at 5 a.m. he uh, woke me up saying that uh, a lot of work uh, has uh, has begun, and uh, um, that was that was I don't know the I can't I can't express my emotions because I was first I was shocked I was speechless, and uh, uh, my first idea was. Uh, what are we going to do? Um, what will happen to us? What will happen to our kid? Um, but uh, you know, we are like I'm. In English, they say a family man. I can say that I'm a family woman, and for me, my family uh, and my my home, they are above all. So at first, we decided uh, not to leave and uh, stay together. Uh, we live. Uh, um, big family, uh, me, uh, my husband, Ola, and uh, my parents-in-law. We have two cats and a chinchilla with us, so uh, we decided not to, uh, we, you know, we couldn't imagine that uh, such a big city can be destroyed, so we just, we, we didn't believe that. We thought, okay, uh, they, like, they, uh, shoot, but it's somewhere not with us. And um, so first two days uh, we were hiding in the basement when uh, they gave us a, a warning that uh, bombs are coming. Um, and um, that was fine. But on the third day uh, when uh, the planes started bombing the city, that was really, uh, I don't know, I can't find the words proper words to explain this because when you are with your kid in the basement and you can hear uh, that plane flying over you and you start counting one two three and you count uh, and then there is a sound this question sound and then you know that uh, um, somebody's house is destroyed or you know that somebody is dying this very moment and this is really this is a terrible feeling terrible feeling and that, that I mean those planes they are most dangerous and um, then uh, um, so that was the third day of the war because uh, since the war started we count we we don't know the dates we don't know uh, what day today is we just count today is the first day of war second seventh tenth etc etc so today is the 13th by the way and uh, um, so uh, we sheltered one more family. Uh, my colleague, she is also a, a teacher with her son, uh, but on the, the, they were with us from the very beginning. But on the, uh, I guess, seventh day, uh, they decided to leave because uh, they just couldn't stand it anymore. So they left us and uh, um, they go to Poltava, then from Poltava to Lviv, and then from Lviv to Poland. They are in Poland already. And the next day, I uh, no same day, I I talked to my husband, and uh, because uh, on the news I read that uh, uh, in Kherson, it's another Ukrainian city, uh, like Russian troops, they started uh, they started to kill. Uh, just civilians and they started to rape girls and uh, women and uh, uh, for me that was uh, I don't know that was the sign because uh, I couldn't imagine my kid 
uh, oh, I don't even want to 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 say this. So, uh, as my husband, uh, as, as me, saying he's a family man, he decided to stay with his parents and protect our house as long as he can. So I tried to persuade him to go with us. Yeah, he can't leave the country, unfortunately, um, but uh, uh, he can leave the city. Uh, but uh, he strongly refuses and still I'm trying to persuade him every day. I'm talking to him every day. I'm trying to say, look, the so I give him arguments. No. But for me, of course, my kid's life is above all. It's the first priority. So that is why I took her and we started our journey. So on the eighth day, we decided to go first to Dnieper. Uh, we found some people they are like um, some acquaintances, somebody, somebody's friends, and uh, they gave us a ride to uh, Dnipro. And then uh, after Dnipro, we uh, tried to get out of there, and that was another sad story because we found a girl. Uh, so she drives a car. I I can't drive a car, unfortunately. So this will be my first. Uh, uh, think I will do uh, when I'm abroad because now I understand how important this skill is. So uh, she offered us a ride. We agreed. We went to uh, from Dnipro. We reached Alexandria. That is another. So this is very very small town in Ukraine, and uh, actually it's not very far from Dnipro. Just 200 uh, kilometers or something. And uh, after the day uh, of driving, she said, Ella, sorry, but I can't make it. So I'm going back home to Dnipro. And uh, you have two options. Either you will stay here or you just uh, uh, go back with me. And I, I was devastated, really. I was uh, so so frustrated. I, I, I just couldn't believe it because uh, I, that was the moment when we left Dnipro with her. I finally calmed down and I thought, Phew, finally, we are on our way to leave. Everything will be okay. But it never happened. So um, I tried to find some volunteers. Uh, I texted in many uh, chat chats asking for help. But uh, it's a very small town, and uh, people literally they, um, they they refused. They said I I offered them money. Of course, it's not for free, but they refused. So uh, then uh, I went to the uh, gasoline station and try to find people there again. I just knocked the cars, asking for help, saying, me and my daughter, we are here in the street. We have nowhere to go. We need uh, some transfer to Lviv, but they refused. Anyway, um, so I made a decision to go back to Dnipro, as uh, in Dnipro, there are uh, more opportunities. So there are buses, transfers, so things like that, even, even train. And uh, so we went uh, to Dnipro, and uh, luckily um, my relative, he was driving from Kharkiv to Lviv, and he was passing Dnipro, and he picked us up. Uh, so we traveled uh, in total, I guess, uh, 26 hours. Uh, there were huge traffic jams. Uh, the longest one was near Uman. Uh, it took us six hours to pass it, and in six hours we managed to cover only 84 kilometers. So that was a nightmare. Uh, we slept only for two hours and a half, and then uh, yesterday we reached Lviv. And uh, here I met with my mom because uh, he was going from Kharkiv to Lviv by train. Uh, she also, she didn't uh, want to leave Kharkiv as uh, I have four siblings and she was with them, uh, with my brothers, but they persuaded her to leave the city. So she uh, decided to take the train and she also, it took her, I guess, uh, 28 hours to get from Kharkiv to Lviv. So uh, here in Lviv, uh, we were very lucky to uh, be welcomed by my friend, 
uh, I made here two years ago when we were having rest by the sea. And uh, now we are at her house. Uh, Olya is really, really stressed. Uh, and uh, for her, um, she's also, she's a girl who likes to be at home. She's a very romantic person. She uh, reads books, uh, she studies uh, languages, she plays the piano, she, she draws. So um, for her, now she has nothing and she says, mom, What's the use of me uh, taking piano lessons, drawing lessons, swimming lessons, Japanese lessons, when now uh, I have nothing. I have no piano, I have no books to learn Japanese, I have no swimming gear to continue my lessons. And we don't know actually uh, when we will have an opportunity to continue all this, to you know get back to this style lifestyle which we used to have because uh, at the moment uh, i'm out of work I, I don't know what i will do i have some very little money just for a couple of probably days maybe weeks and uh, the thing is that we very we have very uh, little things with us uh, I mean, uh, as we uh, were going from Kharkiv, uh, not by our car, uh, but uh, with other people, they all say, don't take too many things, uh, don't take too many things. So we have, uh, uh, so we have uh, too few things with us. We need to, to I don't know, to buy Ola has <laughs> just a, a rucksack with her, with her things, and that's all her life in one rucksack. And that's really, that's terrible because she used to have a very beautiful room and uh, her favorite pets and uh, she's a keen reader, she reads a lot, uh, she has a library in her room, uh, a very big uh, bookshelf and um, she, yeah, I can't say she has, she used to have, <laughs> probably this will be um, the proper, I don't know, name for this situation. And um, she says, mommy, I, I, I just don't know what to do, what to believe after all of this, because uh, she had her, her own world and uh, she felt protected, she felt safe and everything was fine. And uh, she knew what she would do. She had some dreams, she had some ambitions. And uh, for me, probably it's easier because uh, I'm an adult and uh, I will be able to find something and to, to find the way out. But for her, I guess she will need some psychological help in the future uh, to overcome this situation. Uh, she's very closed right now. She doesn't want to communicate. She doesn't want to share. She doesn't want to go anywhere, she, she says. Every time I ask her, she says, I don't care. I don't care because my world uh, has fallen down. So I don't care what will happen. I don't care where we will live, what we will do. I don't want anything. And for me, uh, it's, uh, you know, for me, I can't uh, say uh, what for a parent, what could be worse than that? to see that the child is suffering because uh, she is deprived of everything, of everything. Um, that's really terrible. So I'll keep you posted. Still, we need to organize and arrange a lot of things before leaving to Poland. I hope tomorrow we will go to Poland and then time will show. No plans so far because uh, um, I can't uh, I can't predict anything, I can't speak about the future. Uh, the only thing I'm sure that we will have this future, of course. And uh, for me as a parent, uh, the first uh, thing I need to care uh, about this is like to provide my child with the future, at least with um, some decent future, because she, she does deserve it. Thank you.